Welcome to the new um, OPPO VBA Tutor session. Um, in this um, session, you will learn how to you will learn how to um, how to uh, start um, your in your instance um, through uh, using um, Putty um, and also using a software called uh, WinSCP. Uh, and also, this will be your introduction to WinSCP. It's a um, it's a tunnel. Uh, it's a tool, sort of like a tunnel that allows for you to go into the back end portion of your uh, of your instance and basically and upload uh, files and just to, it helps you configure the back end portion of your of your uh, of your instance. So first thing you do, you go you open up any browser. You go. You uh, type uh, win SCP. and then on the very first link, click uh, win SCP download. And you click on uh, download win SCP. You click on installation package. And it will eventually download. As you see, the top it says you download will start shortly. So if you see at the bottom, it's downloading. I'm not gonna let it download completely because I already have that installed on my computer. So I'm gonna cancel it. So when you go to WinSCP, you open up WinSCP. Basically, this is what it's it looks like. Um, basically, it allows for you to um, basically create um, sessions. And sessions are, as I said, uh, are the link between um, your desktop and the uh, um, and, uh, instance that, you, that you're working on. So what you have to do here is you have to um, basically your host name again, going back to the, um, the um, IP address that you have in Amazon. In the Amazon console, um, this is your console, and basically remember you have to take this this link, um, copy it, you copy it, and then you paste it on here, and then you open up the private key. Remember in the last video I showed you how to create a private generate a private key from um pudding, body. Um, so you have a private key and you and then you upload it um, also. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, create a new instance because I already have uh, my I already I've already done I've already done it. Uh, so this is the instance that I'm working on right now. So you log into this instance and the user um, the username that you have to put in um, initially is actually is uh, Ubuntu. So you type in. Ubuntu and it's gonna log you in. Give me one second. Okay. There you go. So you have Ubuntu. And so you what if you already have Ubuntu, so now you wanna open up um um uh, uh party. So what you do is you you basically you basically go to party, you go to, um, you open up party, and you look for that same, that same, um, you look for this IP address. Um, I have mine as server one. Uh, that's my enterprise um, installation. Um, and you double click it. You can either to open, to not open up the, uh, the portal, you can either double click this or just click on open. So if you don't open, open mine, and then again the same the user is going to be Ubuntu. There you go. So one of the first thing you have to do is in order to install Oracle, you have to have a um, you can't install Oracle as a as a root user. Uh, a root user is the is an administrator level uh, user group for uh, for your uh, for your uh, system. You have to create um, a, a 
in a, 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 uh, a software manager uh, group and you have to create a user named Oracle within that group to be able to uh, manage your Oracle install uh, that you will uh, that you will um, that you will have on your system. So first thing you do is you um, you create um, you create a password for your root user. You type in sudo type in a s s w d root or p a s s s w d one second there you go sudo password um, I'm gonna get my put in my password and then so now you can actually log in as root by typing in sudo hyphen i and then you log in as root as you can see you're, you're the root user um, first thing you want to do is you actually let me clear the screen first thing you want to do is you want to create a group um, again going back to what I said you have to have a group a software manager group so uh, what you do is you to create a group you have to put in type in group add group and this, this assign a number I'm going to assign 80 for my group and then I'm going to name my group DBA and there you go so that's my first group and then I'm going to assign the second group group add um, and I'm going to assign a and I will call this one O install. And then next, what I will do is I will create a user, uh, and I will have that user. I will place that user within those two groups. Um, so the way you create a user is you create, you have to type in user add um, G. The little G stands for um, the primary a group that the user is going to belong to. Um, I'm going to have them belong to the DBA group, and then the capital G is for the secondary group that he's going to belong to, and I will have them belong to O install uh, for the secondary group, and I will assign um, him a password, and that password will be uh, Oracle one. And I will assign him a directory, which is basically where all the files will be stored. Uh, I will assign him uh, dash home slash local. That will be his user directory, and I will assign him a um, a, um, a a bash um, environment, um, where basically he will he will um, be able to. Again, it's just it's the same thing as the as the as the as the home directory that that you currently have so and then that one will be s then bash and then at the end make sure you put in the user who that user will be Oracle again remember I have a password for Oracle one there you go and to make sure that you have created um a um the, the right groups and to, that you created um, um, the right users you can type in cat etc slash group and then basically if you see at the bottom if you look at the bottom you have the two groups that I've just created um, and then so to make sure that you also have a user you can type in um, id slash oracle and it's going to show you basically what you have it's going to show you the user ID 1000, 1001, Oracle. Um, actually, I should, have, I should have given him a user ID. I forgot to do that. Uh, you have a group ID 80. You have a, uh, and the, 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 the different groups that he belongs to, the um, DBA group and the Owen Star group. So once you have these, what you have to do is, um, I found a nice uh, website where basically it shows you how to, um, how to install um, Oracle. So what you do is uh, the website for this one is uh, is basically I'm gonna highlight it. Um, let me use some time to uh, hopefully uh, um, write it down. And on this website, 
uh, basically you have you have the, the step by step on how to uh, install your Oracle um, your Oracle software. So one of the things you have to do here is you have to uh, basically um, you need to have a um, if you go to Putty and then what you do is you to log in as Oracle you type in su slash Oracle there you go you have Oracle um, so basically what what he's telling you now is he doesn't have a directory so what you have to do is you need to um, go, you need to do this you need to make make the directory uh, and if you remember what I did the mistake that I made earlier was I I assigned if you look at if you look at this query exit if you look at this one query that I that I that I, that I, that I did I assigned him a directory home slash local but the truth is um, he doesn't have an actual um, it, this does not exist yet so I should have um, I should have actually basically um, created a directory before uh, before doing anything else so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the directory create a directory by, by typing in make there slash home slash local there you go and you have the local directory um, what I will do also is chmod um, seven 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 means basically you have more access to the file or to directory and I will uh, type in um, home slash local basically then basically that gives you all the access so what you do now is you go back to the query that uh, I just went I went earlier and then you type and then you go to the top so the way to change to uh, modify the user the user group uh, that, that you in or to the user the user uh, the, the users themselves you have to use user mod or if it's a group you have to use group mod so uh, I will modify my user by doing this and there you go so and if you so now if I go to um, if I go to uh, if I let me um, if I log if I try logging again as Oko there you go I'm Oko now this I have no file so basically from from this point on what you need is you need to have um, you need to install you need to have um, Oko your 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 Oko installations um, to be able to uh, basically run like open like uh, install the software so what you need to have is you need to have a um, to have give me one second I'm trying to move this file okay you need to have these two files to have these two files um, again we're working on it on a Linux environment which is essentially Ubuntu so you need to have um, Linux um, 11 GR2 database one of two and you need to have this um, X64 11 GR2 database two of two uh, what you do with these two files is you have to um, so you take um, you open up WinSCP you go to the um, Oracle. Um, you go to the Oracle um, um, uh, directory, which was home slash Oracle, and then what you do is you take uh, those files and you upload them onto onto your um, onto onto the um, server. And mine is being. I don't have enough space, so what I'll do is. Oh well, there you go. Give me one second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. 
out for what I'll do is so this is pretty much what you, what you have to do take these two files take one and then take two and then place them in this directory the home slash auto directory and again this is where I end this uh, this tutorial on the next one I will show you uh, the next steps and how to go through the installation process thank you so much for watching